I oh, like God. combs. Me God. too. Yeah. And I just rediscovered my comb. <laughs> and now, What's it made of? Are we on? Oh, hey, hello, everybody. Uh, uh, my name's Ivnar. Uh, as maybe you saw it on the screen, Avalix Stratibus. And uh, to my left is Kylie Daly. And in the middle is Jamie McKinnon. And our first time guest on the show, Edward Burke. Mm -hmm. Hello. Thanks for coming on, Edward. Uh, thank you for having me. Yeah, um, really excited to um, have Edward show us uh, his uh, instruments that he makes. Mm -hmm. And da where do you make the instruments? You're, I uh, make the instruments at a place called the uh, Generator, um, down off of Pine Street on uh, Sears Lane. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's a new space, right? It is a new space. Uh, we used to be in Memorial Auditorium. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been in there. That's fascinating. So that's closed. They moved everything mm. to mm -hmm. the Sears Lane uh, yes. Generator. Yes. I started at the Generator in... Um, uh, last year as a uh, volunteer. Cool. Mm -hmm. So do they still take volunteers into? They do. Okay. Yeah. And tours once in a while? Uh, oh, yes. I've yet to get down to the new mm -hmm. space, but yeah. every first Friday of the month, maybe? Um, With the Art Hop mm. or the um, first Friday gallery openings, you know? In yeah, the South I'd say um, there are practically tours uh, given there every day. Oh, uh, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. So is it something that, like, if, if you just stop by, you could get a tour, or is there a schedule? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if you stop by, there's likely to be somebody at the front desk, and uh, they can show you around. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an official orientation you have to take uh, before you become a member of the generator. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, uh, come by, and uh, somebody will show you around. Sweet. Inevitably. So that orientation, that's because they have like a lot of uh, a lot of cool equipment there to mm -hmm. use. It's like about learning to use the equipment. They do, yeah. The generator is what's known as a maker space, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and um, um, others who work there would probably be more qualified to, and more knowledgeable to talk about it than I would be. But uh, if you live in Burlington and have an idea for a project, and um, you need a jump start on uh, uh, getting that project off the ground, whether you need um, the right tools or uh, some knowledgeable um, info and suggestions from people who have made similar projects mm -hmm. to what you're thinking of. Mm -hmm. um, the generator is the place to uh, get that jump start you're looking for. Mm. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm, I kind of want to here you talk more about what you've been working on the yes. generator. Mm -hmm. I make uh, essentially musical walking sticks, uh, and uh, these are folk percussion instruments played um, in various parts of the world. Uh, my primary um, influence is the Australian logger phone, L-A-G-E-R, and then phone, F-O-N-E. Uh, logger as in logger beer. Mm. Hence the caps. Yeah, uh, oh. hence uh, <laughs> bottle caps. Um, Bottle caps make the. Must be uh, having a fun time while you're making these things. Right? <laughs> um, I get my caps from various sources. This is an example of one. I don't know if it's fully in the frame, but um, I made this out of an old walking stick that somebody else had carved. And um, essentially, it is a stick with a bunch of caps on it, a handle, uh, a rubber tip at the bottom, and. Um, various other uh, fun little sound toys and you play it with specialized uh, drumsticks and I make those homemade as well. Uh, these are called uh, rattlers, so called because they have furniture tacks or you can use thumb tacks too mm -hmm. that make the logger phone rattle when you uh, rub the rattler on the logger phone like this. So you can bounce this on the ground and then uh, hit with the stick. You get a lot of interesting rhythmic variations. So once you got those main elements, and I hope people can hear my voice at the same time I'm playing this, once you got those elements, you can add in other crazy sounds like this. 
<laughs> yeah, or this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, at the top, that is a sink strainer. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It makes such a good noise, too. It, it is, and I was really surprised by the noise it made the first time I picked it up and um, struck it with a pencil or a, it might have been a pen that I had in my pocket. Mm -hmm. I always test out what sounds things make before I put them on these uh, logger phones. Uh, but yeah, sync strainers are strangely uh, resonant. <laughs> <laughs> so Which that's an example. Yeah. Where do people mail their sink strainers to you? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yeah, I do have some contact info uh, that I can give um, after yeah. or towards the end of the show here. Um, so that's an example of just one of the instruments I've made. I've made a bunch um, since May. Um, this is uh, another one. It's uh, kind of a little bit different because uh, um, I've added a striking surface uh, that's metal here, so mm -hmm. it's not bare wood. And uh, it gives kind of a different sound. Mm -hmm. The rattler, uh, uh, the rattling effect doesn't quite work here, but uh, it's a totally different uh, feel. Mm -hmm. And uh, they basically in a musical situation can stand in for the typical uh, drum set. And uh, you got the rubber tip down here for your bass drum. And then a uh, striking surface to get a snare type sound in conjunction with the bass. Shake it like a tambourine. <laughs> Little uh, resonant piece on top for a cymbal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, adaptable to any musical situation right here. Mm. So is it pretty much a parade everywhere you walk? <laughs> uh, say that again. Is it pretty much a parade everywhere you walk? Mm. Like, do you ever bang them on yes. the street, you know, going down Church mm -hmm. Street? And Definitely. Uh, one man parade. Uh, yeah, and no one's following. Yeah. That's uh, right. Mm -hmm. Also great for uh, using as a walking stick or to repel bears if you're hiking. <laughs> <laughs> Grizzly country. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so um, once I have all those basic elements, um, oh, did I knock yeah, something okay. important over? No. I think it's a it's painting. Just... I don't think it's a big deal, though. Oh, okay. Apologize it's only worth for that. $3,000. So <laughs> I have these basic elements and processes that I use now. So um, I'm into making themed logger phones. Um, this one is themed for St. Patrick's Day. Uh, it has um, uh, green uh, spray paint swirls on it and uh, caps up top uh, from um, Guinness bottles, uh, the uh, Ireland um, pride there. Green bells. Um, oh, oh, yeah, green jingle bells, mm -hmm, too. <laughs> nice. You never know what I'll add to a logger phone. A little bike bell right here. Nice, there's a shamrock yeah. on it. Mm -hmm, definitely. And then um, some ridges that I added with a Dremel, um, a new uh, toy that I bought with a um, stipend that the generator gave me. I am the maker in resonance for January and February and uh, also March. Uh, so I'll have my studio until the end of March. Excellent. Yeah, I encourage people to come visit me. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is what the ridges sound like here. Nice, I like that one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. So, um, I have some other things to uh, show you here. I hope I didn't bring too much. No. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So I talked a bit about the Rattlers too. Um, just as I've uh, experimented with different um, designs and shapes and sounds for the logger phone, um, I'm experimenting with rattlers too. Uh, this one um, is a uh, is a tree branch. I uh, stripped the bark off and I uh, sanded it and stained it 
wrapped some paper tape around uh, the end for a handle. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Um, paper tape. I, uh, it's a product I've found uh, around town that I have really come to enjoy using. Mm. Yeah. And so that's just one uh, design of Rattler. Uh, this one <laughs> is pretty unique. This one was also a tree branch. Cool thing about this one, the color of this wood right now, um, uh, I've stained this, but it it's the same color that the wood was before I stained it. Mm. So usually staining um, uh, gives your wood a, a different color, a different luster and you know unique mm. look. But um, yeah, the wood that was under the bark was yellow like this. Mm. I've never seen um, wood this color before. Mm. So I call this the banana rattler. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, this one uses uh, black duct tape. So I'm experimenting with different uh, types of tape, different uh, woods. Uh, I really have no preference yet. I'm early in this uh, whole um, um, uh, logger phone making career. Yeah, have you tried uh, hollowing a stick out at all and seeing what kind of sound that might make? Mm. Could uh, give a no. Maybe a special resonance as you yeah. pull across with That's the tacks. That's a great idea. And Ibnar is holding my favorite Rattler. Mm. That is a dowel that I bought in a uh, hardware store. Yeah. Jupiter. Um, and I decorated the top of it using a Dremel, uh, this little uh, drumstick-like uh, shape here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I call this the Jupiter Rattler, actually, because it has a uh, knot in the wood that kind of looks like... Um, the red spot, uh, that swirling storm on Jupiter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's what I saw in the uh, knot. And so, yeah, various uh, designs and uh, looks. This one right here is made of bamboo, a uh, little piece of bamboo that I actually found here in the uh, old north end. So I took it to my studio and made it into a striking stick, mm -hmm. or a rattler, I should say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you give all of your rattlers names? I don't. Uh, no, only those two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, oh, actually, yeah, this is uh, Rudolph's rattler because I <laughs> used uh, red and green uh, thumbtacks um, on the spur of the moment, and it has uh, some green uh, and white paper tape. So this actually goes to a Christmas-themed logger phone I have in my studio. Mm. It uh, is covered with jingle bells instead of the standard bottle caps. Mm -hmm. So in the future, I'm going to uh, experiment with replacing the bottle caps with uh, some other resonant objects. Mm. Yeah, that's that. And that's made of reindeer horn? Uh, no, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tree branch. Tree branch. <laughs> yeah. Well, people mm -hmm. will believe what you tell them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can I feel this paper tape? Yeah. It's uh, paper tape with some uh, Mod Podge um, uh, painted over it. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, do you have any uh, questions for me about uh, my process or um, yeah, anything about uh, my work here? I'll be just go ahead. <laughs> I'll just be curious what kind of uh, special techniques you've been developing in your space as you've been... Mm working along and uh, working with other people and seeing what they've been doing, if that's influenced you at all? Mm. Um, yeah, if, it's, if there's one thing the generator thrives upon, it's um, inspiration um, from other people working on their own stuff around you. Um, mm -hmm. To put it more eloquently, uh, the generator's bread and butter is um, collaboration. Mm. I personally haven't uh, collaborated with anybody on a project there yet, um, but um, and I'm trying to remember your uh, question. Yeah. Oh, just about yeah. like what maybe you've seen someone else doing and thought, yeah. oh, maybe I could do something like that to. Oh yeah, yeah. The um, uh, my use of the Dremel, um, I was inspired uh, to get myself a Dremel after. Um, seeing somebody else use uh, one, and they actually allowed me to uh, uh, borrow 
um, their Dremel um, uh, for uh, like a, uh, a few hours. And so I uh, experimented with it and I really liked the results. So with the stipend I got from my residency, I decided to put it towards a Dremel of my own. Mm -hmm. And for those who, of you who don't know, Dremel is both a brand name of power tool and the name of the tool itself. It allows you to engrave and um, also has some other attatments. Um, mm. Trying to think of Are the other these things. details that, here, oh. Dremel? Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, the handle of this bamboo rattler um, I decorated with the Dremel. So I definitely have used the engraving tool, um, but it has other attachments. Um, it can sand, it can um, cut through glass, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Yeah, has some diamond-tipped uh, uh, blades, <laughs> but I'm not a spokesperson for the Dremel, uh, so <laughs> this is not a product endorsement. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. right. What did this come from? Do you know these metal uh, yeah. strips are very beautiful, decorative? Yeah, I, yeah, these metal parts. Um, I, I don't know what they, they were originally, but I saw them in a store and I really loved the look of them. Mm. Um, uh, yeah. And I wanted to incorporate them into my instruments. It's like hammered uh, tin or mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Yeah. I'm wondering if uh, maybe they were part of a, a door frame or something. It looks like something like that to me. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe like they maybe they decorated a bookshelf. Or, mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, I don't know. Um, I'm inspired by really anything that has an interesting <laughs> look and that sounds good when I tap it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm wondering about like when you walk around town, are you the way you see the world is it influenced by your work as a logger phone maker? Like you mm. see something and you instantly think, Oh, I wanna know what sound that makes or Yeah. Is, is has it affected you like that? Um how I view the world isn't specifically uh based on uh, making logger phones. I would say it's based on um my um identification as a sound junkie. Mm -hmm. um, I walk around and I'm very aware of uh, every every little um, sound uh, from the rustling of the leaves to um, uh, the Doppler effect from cars whizzing past you uh, to um, you know, the sound of children. Um, yeah, life is a big symphony to me. <laughs> yeah. That's mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and Burlington um, offers us plenty of uh, sounds. Yeah, I bet you could write some really great poems about like mm -hmm. the soundscapes you hear. Right, I am. Yeah, you know, your description just now, the leaves rustling and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry to cut you off there. That's fine. Um, yeah, I do write uh, poetry as well, some song lyrics. Um, oh really? Yeah, you won't find me published anywhere yet, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I do uh, do some writing. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah, and I brought some examples uh, if you uh, if you would like to hear some. Yeah. I'd love to. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, right now. Sure. Okay. It is the poetry show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I wouldn't call these uh, real refined poems. They're just uh, little snippets I write down when it wherever the uh, whenever the mood strikes me. Sounds like poetry. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, let's see here. Um, sometimes I find I write when I'm out um, enjoying a drink at the bar and uh, I have nobody else to talk to. Go inside my head. Mm -hmm. So, uh, this is an example of one of those. Uh, let's see. It's untitled, but um, uh, here goes. Taste of fermented wheat. So sweet. So many feet on the floor in this bar. <laughs> Noise crowds my head, no thoughts to be fed. I wonder where I'm being led. What are all these people talking about? What are these people talking about? I hear noise, not conversation. The moisture on my coaster, condensation. The dim light glistening through the beer. The popping bubbles, whispers of my ancestors do I hear. 
Remember us, remember us. We laid your foundations, paved the roads for your bus. We toiled and we fought of the comforts you enjoy today we thought. We enjoyed a cold one after a day's work when it really meant something. Remember your ancestors from even longer ago who first procured the golden liquid through which we whisper. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, Yeah, I like that. Right. I have two more uh, if we have time for them. Yeah, Yeah. it looks like we got plenty of time. Okay. Uh, So this is um, a poem that I, or like a, just a, an assemblage of words I wrote down uh, last year, um, and it paints a moment. <clears throat> Sitting and thinking, lingering, fingers exploring the buns of my cell, the evening breeze is swell. I'm on no one's time, no one's dime. I wish I had a rum and coke with lime. No drama, no grime, just a few moments of my time on this bench outside of this South End deli. My legs like jelly, feet sinking into concrete. I feel complete. Why must I go home? (laughs) Yeah. Mm. And then the last one I planned for today is um, a uh, poem with um, that, I'll say it's a poem that's very timely, timely here. And uh, this one is not titled either. Uh, but I could entitle it, I Watch the Wasp. There we go. I wrote this last year during summer. I watch the wasp climb up the bus stop window, a tough guy reaching high, yet falling down at random moments. How many of us fall due to our swagger, our false pride? How many of us overexert and try, yet fail? The people at the top have farther to fall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very timely. I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I can picture uh, when I see like a wasp or a hornet or mm. a little flying creature like that that's that's seemingly trying to find its way back outside. I got be- behind a glass, and so it's crawling mm. up the side. Yeah. Or up the, mm-hmm. And it's uh, must be exhausted because every once in a while it tumbles down and hits the sill and has to fly mm-hmm. back up. So right. very vivid image. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I um, I, I want to make sure I read one poem <coughs> by um, a local poet um, who has uh, recently passed, uh, Marilyn Grigas, and um, I, I have I did meet Marilyn and I enjoyed a few conversations with her, mm-hmm. and. Um, um, so let, let me let me read one. This is her uh, uh, book uh, called Shift. That uh, oh, okay. Well, anyway, it's um, it's a gorgeous cover. That's called Shift. So let me. I love Marilyn's uh, poetry. So I want to share one here. Uh, I could read. I could just pick just about anything out here. Um, so I will read this one, though. This just happened to be where I opened up. Um, it's called Package. And, uh, okay. Sad, sad, wrapped in anxious, anxious, wrapped in a slew of questions, shrink-wrapped in a warped frame, still wishing for connections. Even with weather mild and kind, even with new romantic dreams, N- and oops, and dimly lit rooms, my mind recoils. Not anchors, not answers, not icons or echoes, but just a thin strap would do. Stars above burn in their constellations, dog star wrapped with a white dwarf, white dwarf bound in gravity, dog star the axis of it all even as every sad and limping thing collapses and radiates. Mm, nice. Yeah. Um, could you, maybe one, one more? Yeah, I you, think we have at least five more minutes. Okay, and then you, you brought some poems to read too, Jamie, Kylie. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, Jamie's been writing like crazy lately. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Well, this, okay. About muscle. If there's no need for movement, then no need for a brain, I've learned. A fact demonstrated by the sea squirt, a small creature that swims freely in its youth until it settles on a rock. Then it devours its own brain <laughs> and spinal cord. It simply doesn't require them any longer. God, don't let me settle. Parentheses. Need for movement leads to need for muscle. The brain evolves in order to plan and execute, reaching, grasping, turning, according to the expert on Charlie Rose, which I watch on my iPad while walking on the treadmill to rebuild my strength. Mm. Plenty of species thrive without brains, he says. It could be different on another planet, I suppose, but here evolution of the brain is about muscle. Just ask. Arnold Schwarzenegger, or an evolutionary biologist, yet the brainless sea squirt still gets upset, still squirts. Maybe it's innate, like a horse's hide shuddering to dislodge a fly. Hmm. Maybe that's why I started moving and arranging boulders last fall. I thought I was making a terrace. But afterward, it looked more like a grave. Oh, Marilyn Grigas, um, powerful, beautiful poetry. I'd say so. Yeah. Yes, so thank you to Marilyn. Thank you. <coughs> Some new poems. Oh, there's something like yeah. that. Bust one out. <laughs> oh, sure. There, um, we're working on a new thing here with some uh, photographs of flowers mm. that were all taken mm -hmm. down south in either Tennessee, North Carolina, or Virginia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, alongside that is a little story, kind of like a poem, kind of more like a run-on sentence, however you'd call it. <laughs> so do the first one then maybe we'll do another one later that's later on set out from north vt across the great lake champlain down near ticonderoga and straight soaring over suspension bridge past battle battlements an age-old fortress well all of new york being an age-old fortress either cities or trees through all that rolling calicoon on delaware 100 feet across to damascus pa great rocks and river and orange sand for dirt kill the engine and stop First great rush is over. Now enjoy eating with family in beautiful abode on quite still stilts. Mm. Um, for one that's li a little later on in the journey here. Swarm to the sunny south in the springtime in search of pollen and just watch us do our dance. It's what the honey does, sweet nectar and my god proboscising about and slurping from sugar streams and fuzzing with furry legs, jittering about on flower stalks and buzzing up a talk, insect droning on and on in UV ray spectrum fragmented through a million faceted eyes in loop-to-loop -loop flight, paper wings in starlight folding and flapping iridescent and burning among soft sepals and petals. Mm. These are all the photos you haven't written poems about oh. yet, but so all the so the one that that one's inspired by is at home, um, but that one it's it's this like yellow tree flower um, that is just like yellow and bursting in every direction looks like a little firework. Mm, is um, it like this? That's a trout lily. Actually. It's a trout lily. I recognize yeah. that. Mm. Um, but the mm. the other one it looked I don't know. It makes sense that Jamie wrote the bumblebee poem for mm. it. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For my part, I really liked the part about the uh, probro I think uh, we proboscis. We mm -hmm. can keep talking, but I think we might have wrapped up. Is that it? We can keep going. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Probiscuit, yeah, the other uh, Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, your use of uh, language uh, in that uh, passage. Um, uh, I mean, I'm not, 
uh, much of a poet, uh, so sorry oh, if I are. sound pretentious. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I, I yeah I liked the part about the proboscis and like uh, soaring from flower to flower. I mm. can't remember exactly what he wrote there, but that that was a good passage. Nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. maybe we'll do one more here. Sure. Yeah. This one is the Smokies coming in from Asheville to Cherokee after eating biscuits with herb gravy and bacon in the city, which was quiet on this city on this sunny morning, but loud the way out, weaving through industrial lots of all conditions, finally to a mega highway caped in trees and mountains and only the constant roar and rush of ocean road and metal waves propelled by gasoline wind to remind you of your true surroundings. Anyways, made up to move on from road to path and thus in the backcountry office obtaining a pass to Camp River Sites up into the big valley below the high peaks and fabled Appalachian Trail. Here we are, dirty but well fed, in a parking lot full of window peepers and AC seedsters, kiosk glares and photo nannies, never leave the road, and there we go, backpacks bobbing into rhododendron. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. <coughs> Would you call them AC Seers? AC Seatsters. AC Seatsters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just been like write, writing as fast as possible, kind of, and just seeing what comes out. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that's the kind of writing I do too. Yeah, it's mm. it's good for your mind. You know, you feel really liberated. Mm. Totally. Mm -hmm. So are we done here? Are we done? Oh, one more. One more. Okay, yeah, <laughs> one more. Can I read another one from there? Sure. Uh, <laughs> Kylie, did you want to read something or? Um, yeah, can I read? Yeah. I I was reading a couple of poem books oh, today. Beautiful. Oh, these are Next sketches I made from my same trip. Yeah, yeah. Um, these ones. I think I want to read the Mary Oliver. I read Mary Oliver on here before, probably. Um, but this one was like it. It, uh, it was the first one I opened up to today, and it was just perfect for the moment I needed. Um, the cricket doesn't wonder if there's a heaven, or mm. if there is, if there's room for him. It's fall. Romance is over. Still, he sings. If he can, he enters a house through the tiniest crack under the door. Then the house grows colder. He sings slower and slower, then nothing. This must mean something, I don't know what, but certainly it doesn't mean he hasn't been an excellent cricket all his life. <laughs> uh, I like that one. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad you read that. <sighs> and you brought one of your paintings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jamie brought that along, but I painted it this summer. Offering um, rocks. Yeah, and this is your latest, I think, right? Yeah, um, st I would say still in progress. I'll still mm -hmm. add some stuff to it, um, mm -hmm. but the glitter effect's nice. I'm, I like getting into that. Mm. Mm. And this, it looks, can I look, <gasps> look at this? Yeah. It looks like uh, like tissue paper stained gla like glued on, but it's actually transparent brush strokes or something? Uh, maybe, yeah. And then the texture is actually, um, if you ever heard of silly string, like yes. the string that sprays out of a can, it's, of course. it's not really string at all. It's, I don't know, weird foamy material. Yeah. Mm. But I'd spray the whole thing with that first wow. to like build up a oh, interesting old, yeah. texture. That's very old, inventive. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Huh. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, you can see like that in that awesome. bottom corner there, mm -hmm. that texture is like the silly string. Oh uh, yeah, more thick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the right side, you yep. can see some of the yeah, pink I, and blue there, yeah. I, I always wondered what silly string's made out of. <laughs> like, I'm in a kick these days of, of using my, uh, the voice recognition software on my phone to um, ask a question like that. Like, what is silly string made out of? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah or like, what's the origin of, um, of uh, uh, Twizzlers, you know? <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Um, Growing a tree. I, yeah. I, I'm a really big trivia nerd. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Everything nice about, painting uh, right there. Putting glitter on your lager phones. 
Um, yeah, they kind of have their own shine already. It's but. likely that I will use glitter at some point. <laughs> I would, I would totally recommend glitter glue. It's like, mm -hmm. um, that has both glitter glue and just like sh shake it on glitter. Yeah, in it. Mm -hmm. the glitter glue like won't fall off. You won't, you don't right. have to worry about it like flaking off at all. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's really nice about it. Right. And speaking of the gener uh, speaking of logger phones, I made them at the generator space, uh, 40 Sears Lane, off of Pine Street. Uh, <laughs> so I definitely uh, encourage uh, all of you to uh, come out and uh, visit us uh, if you uh, are down in the South End. Uh, come by my studio until the end of the month, um, and you can visit me. And um, yeah, I encourage you to find out more about us, generatorvt.org. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thank show. you, Edward. It's been yeah. fun. Thank you. Yeah, I've enjoyed myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had some jams in the studio before we came up, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, excellent. Mm -hmm. Under a recorder in the free pile, and Edward is like mm -hmm. a master at it. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, beginner's luck, that's all I'll say. That sounded pretty good to mm -hmm. me. <laughs> right. Luck of the Irish. <laughs> mm -hmm. So is there going to be a big logger phone parade on St. Patty's Day, you think? Yeah. Um, it could be fun if you had, like, a few. I don't have uh, that much uh, past experience with organizing.